Sonny? Are you here? Thank God. <sighs> you won't be wearing that smile long, Sonny boy. <laughs> ah, now that I got Johnny Z in my pocket. Saw what? Oh, the wedding announcement I put in the sun. Isn't that picture great? I'm sorry, what are you doing here, and what is that? Oh, inspiration. Well, you can't plan a wedding without it. Don't worry, you'll leave everything to me, and it'll be smooth sailing right down that aisle into Sonny's arms. <laughs> Come on. Well, I... Uh... Who said I needed a wedding planner? Sonny. Sonny? Well, not, not needed. The word needed never came out of Sonny's mouth. I mean, oh, we're right. both aware that you are more than capable of planning your own wedding, which yes, you I proved am. the last time. That's right. Because it went great until you got shot. Yeah, Maxie. Which wasn't your fault. Sorry. Look, Sonny just thought you could use some help with the execution. And yes, you made all the selections the last time, but I handled the arrangements. Besides, you can use all the help you can get now that you've pushed up this wedding date. Bold choice, by the way, but I, I think we can handle it. So I stayed up really late last night uh -huh. researching what's trending in the wedding world, and then I tried to add a little Kate Howard flair, you know, something elegant, understated. Thoughts? It's a little post-it. Thoughts. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Ooh. Boring. Ugly. Flowers, white, really stupid, really boring. Oh, and look, it's nature's version of granny panties. Really? Oh, really? Dear, where's the skin, Maxie? Where's the cleavage? I'm sorry? I want to look sexy walking down the aisle, not like some button-up school mom. And these heels, uh, I want lucite. <gasps> With those little chains around the ankles. Oh, you did not just say chains. No, little chains, not big chains, delicate ones. I want some edge. <clears throat> On your wedding day. And no white tablecloths, no white flowers, no white anywhere. I'm thinking leopard. Flowers? Print for the linens. Flowers. Oh, flowers. Let's see. I want big, big flowers shaped like hearts with a yellow thing sticking out of Anthurium them. Anthurium lilies in your bouquet. Everywhere. What's with the face? Nothing. Just doesn't seem very Kate Howard to me. Well, it's not Kate Howard. It's Connie Falconeri. Me, Falconeri. Should I be scared? No. I just, I kind of thought. Connie was gone. Well, she is gone as a different persona, but I'm integrated now. So I'm both Kate and Connie. At the same time? Yeah. Dr. Keenan, may he rest in peace, taught me that integration means that Connie doesn't disappear. She becomes a uh, part of me. Well, I guess that would explain the leopard print and the cleavage. Best of both worlds, right? I can handle it. You know, this uh, integration thing could work out well for me. In what respect? Oh, well, the Connie side of you might be slightly less demanding. Not as obsessed with the exact temperature of your latte. Yeah, I know, Kate had a rigid way of looking at things, right? You could put it that way. Yeah, well, Connie's here to fun things up. So your job now is to mesh Connie's style with Kate's. The thing is, I'm not sure that's possible. Anything's possible. Okay, so what you would like me to do is is mix some um, elegant with tacky at no, the no, same no, time. No, 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 not tacky. Fun. Fun. Okay, well, I'm not even sure where to start. Where would I find these hitty, uh, fun-sounding things? Maxie, you're a smart little girl. You'll figure it out. Why don't you go up to my bedroom? My computer's on there. Do a little research and don't come back till you've done it right. I was hoping I had hallucinated your visit yesterday. <laughs> don't play hard to get, Johnny. I know you miss me as much as I miss you. You see the wedding announcement in the paper today? This picture is atrocious. What do you want, Connie? You know what I want, Johnny? They're getting hitched in a couple days. We gotta get moving. We don't gotta do anything. Do I need to go over this with you again? I took a murder rep for you, and not just any murder, a man and his little girl, all right? You owe me, Johnny. So the next time I come to you for something, lose the toot. Enough! I will not let you do this to me, do you hear me? This is fun enough for your Connie side. Let me see it. I didn't even know some of those websites existed, but I guess there really is something for everyone. This is this is better. This is better. This is a 
Still a little hoity-toity, but keep going with this. All right? Good job. And uh, don't forget the bachelorette party. Oh, I'm already on it. I reserved the secret garden for high tea. They just need to know how many guests you're having. Zero. What? No, you, uh, you have Olivia and Alexis and I'll go. No, I'm not. I'm saying that I wouldn't subject anyone to high tea anywhere. Why not? Teeny little sandwiches, wine. Wine? Try tequila. And I'll be drinking it off a male stripper's abs. Strippers? Yeah. Kate. So you want to do body shots at your bachelorette party? Yeah, isn't that what they're supposed to be about? Getting down and dirty one last time before your life officially ends? I was kidding. Okay. <laughs> it's getting kind of hard to tell. Yeah. So, the English garden. No, no, English garden, Maxie. Do I need to spell it out for you? Okay. Dive bar, music cranked, male strippers with chiseled abs. The Connie side. The Connie side. You think you can handle it? Absolutely. Yeah. Great. So here's Sonny's charge card. It, uh, has no limit, so knock yourself out. You don't have food for the reception. I want Chinese. Chinese? Yes. Let's have some mushu pork and pot stickers. Well, what about drinks? Are we going to serve domestic or imported beer? Both. <sighs> this is going to be a wedding that no one will ever forget.